Hey guys, it's Joe Ching Chip Farmers back again with another Palmetto State Christmas sale. So, like I said in my last video, I am not sponsored by Palmetto State. But I don't mind giving them a shout out because I've done business with them in the past. So I've never had a problem with any of their items or any of the items they sell. If I've ever had any problems, they've taken care of it. So, I don't mind talking about them. So today's sale, we have the, uh, the PSA 308. So this is an AR-10. Well, it's actually not a bad price on this gun. Now, this is a proprietary weapon. So a lot of the, the PSA parts on the AR-10, are they don't cross across different platforms. So I know it's based off the, the DPMS uh, AR-10, but... Uh, I've heard from a lot of people that the lowers are just, they're not something you can use with a lot of different uppers. You just stay with uh, PSA. And their lower parts kits for the AR-10 are proprietary to their lowers too. So just keep that in mind. But at the same time, $899 on the, on the AR-10 from PSA is not a bad buy. This is a great rifle. Especially if you're looking for a budget option like that, it's, just, it's not a bad one. Now you can piece one together, come in a lot cheaper, or I'd say a little cheaper than this, but that's, that's not a bad price. And we've got some 357 Magnum, critical duty ammo. That's still a little higher than I'd like to pay for it right now, but it's... Yeah, it's a, it's not that's not an awful price on uh, personal defense loads, but still, I'd I'd like to pay a little less for them. Now here's PSA's rifle kit. Uh, this is not a bad kit, especially with the the you know they get the Mohan grip and the stock is a nice addition. Comes with uh, PSA's. Uh, fire fire kit which is not a bad kit especially with the, they do a little extra polishing on it it's not bad but i still think you can do a little better for this this kit before things went crazy this kit was a uh, over a hundred dollars cheaper than you see it here so that that's unfortunate all right now we've got the g-force gf99 uh I know I've done a review on the SDS, which is not the same shotgun as this. And from what I've seen online, this shotgun does not shoot low brass. It is a Magnum only shotgun. You guys don't have to quote me on that, but from everybody that I've, I have seen that has reviewed that, it is a Magnum load only shotgun. So definitely want to check that. Now that's still a great shotgun, but there are some other shotguns out there around this same price, SDS being one of them, that will shoot different loads, so keep that in mind. Now we're coming back with a PSA. This is their, their dagger, which a lot of people tell me is basically a Glock, which we're going to get one to the channel and check it out. Now this one is a little higher than the one they had advertised for $299. And one of their other sales flyers but this one also has a few little a few more options it has the uh, night sights and i said it has carry cuts and it's also also a two-tone gray another one i was looking at was black i i don't have to look back at it and see what kind of cuts they're talking about but i think all they do is round the edges but having a better set of sights off off the get-go may be worth the extra money, especially that was $60 more than the other one they had on. So either way, I, said, I may pick one of these up. I know I want to bring one in so people can see it. So it may be this one. It may be the other one. We'll see. We've got another Blem. Uh, this is PSA's proprietary AK-47. Really a great rifle. Um can't say enough good about it, especially for this price range. It's not a bad price on this rifle. Uh, they call it a blem, which can mean a lot of different things. A lot of times when you get these blems, you can't even find what exactly made it a blem. So 
but that's a good price so you guys might want to take a look at that it won't last long at that they they don't have a a large selection of those so you want to be quick and now we've got the this is a glock g48 a nine millimeter looks like they're running a sale on that and i've seen these priced for around this this price point from time to time so i'm not going to tell you this is a great buy but it's still not a bad buy so if you're looking for one this is a pretty good option for you guys of course we've got they also have a holster for it if you're looking for that and we go back to uh one of psa's mid-length uppers this is it's not this is a nice upper well, i could tell you it's not but for the 250 price uh dollar price point and no bolt carrier group uh you can find some some decent options out there i know km tactical has some great uppers uh, a lot of people don't know a lot about them but i have used some of their their uppers in the past and i've been perfectly happy with them there's there's nothing like bad i can say about them bear creek arsenal is another one that comes to mind that you can find that you'll find uppers around this price point and sometimes cheaper and they will come with the bolt carrier group and charging handle and i've had practically no no complaints or issues with the bear creek arsenal so definitely look at them before you're looking at something like that Here's PSA standard lower. This comes with uh, just a stock, a stock and hand grip for the one twenty five ninety nine. That's that's not a bad deal. Not a bad deal. I would probably spring the extra twenty dollars or twenty five dollars. I think it is for the Mo edition and get uh, the Magpul stock and hand guard myself because I just like them better and. I'm not going to keep those. I, I might throw something like that on a rifle I'm building to sell, but not, not anything I'm going to keep. And here's the Springfield XDM Elite. This is the 45 ACP. I don't know a lot about this gun. I have obviously have not done my research on it, but it's, uh, Springfield makes some nice pistols, so I'm going to knock them there. I'd like to get one in and take a look at it. I say it's a hundred dollars off of what it usually is, and I'll be honest with you guys, this is about the price I usually see it for. So I'm not gonna. I don't think it's that great a savings. And there's a Ford Vortex Strike Fire Two, a little red dot for MOA. It's red and green. These are really great sights. I wish they'd they'd put the price up there. They just say there's eighty dollars in savings, so you have to. Go over there and check that out and see what uh, what the price is. But that's our Christmas sale for today. So we'll bring some more back to you. I'll just so you guys know, Palmetto State usually will run these through through this week, and the sales will still be good into next week. So you'll have some time to pick these up. Uh, just go over and take a look, guys. There, uh, si definitely sign up for their their deal of the day. I mean, a lot of times they're going to send you stuff that you're going to look at and go, that, that's the same price as normal, guys. But other things on there will come through, and they'll they'll have a significant markdown, and that's the things you want to you want to try to grab when they're cheaper. I know I've got a Star 9 I bought from them. I had missed one sale, had to spend another $30 more for the pistol. Turned around, and they got a running a, they're running a Christmas sale on it now, $70 cheaper than what i paid for it so i'm kicking myself pretty good over that but i said just i would recommend you sign up for their daily deals just take a look at what they have and if you see a deal and it's something you want go ahead and grab it you got to be quick because these deals do sell out pretty quick so we appreciate you guys watching our videos we hope everybody gets together with family for christmas this year and we want to wish everybody a merry christmas Thanks. All right, guys, it's John with Chicken Ship Farms back at you again. This is uh, another one of Palmetto State's Christmas sale daily deal propagandas, I could say. 
Once again, I am not sponsored by Palmetto State. Nobody's asked me to do these videos, and I'm not paid by anybody. I'm just somebody that has has done a lot of business with Palmetto State in the past, and I do like their products. I've never had any problems with their products. And anytime I had any questions or concerns, I had no trouble dealing with their customer service. So I, I don't mind coming on here and giving them a shout out recommendation or to show you guys some of the deals that they've got through this this Christmas holiday so let's take a look at what they what they've got today all right look at that looks like the Rock Island VR 60 is going to make another another comeback now we had one of these on the channel we had the camo version I actually got a better price on this than they they have right here. I'd like to see what their well they just have a combo deal on it now. See, I remember I had a rebate. I bought the camel camo version for two ninety nine earlier this year. It came with a rebate for four uh, nine round magazines. It cost me fifteen dollars for shipping for those, but I got four magazines on top of that deal. I've I've had. A side, you know, that's been a, a good shotgun. It's lighter than most, and it definitely has more felt recoil than some of my other heavier shotguns. So I will would tell you that uh, it comes with two different gas pistons, so you can run a heavier loads, magnum loads, and stuff with your heavier piston and your bird shot, and even your some of your lighter load buckshot, and even all the way to the low brass with the other piston. If you try to shoot heavier loads with the wrong piston, it will kick like a mule. So, there's that. But, I mean, it's a, nice, a good-looking shotgun. It's definitely versatile. I have an optics mouth. It's got a full rail all the way along the top, so you can take the carry handle off and front side off if you wish. Put whatever you want on. It's really a great shotgun. But, I said this is coming in here at the $349.99. I don't know how many more extra mags you're going to get with it, but I have seen a better deal on that shotgun than, than what we're looking at here. And we got PSA's 10.5 inch pistol upper. Once again, this has no bolt carrier group or charging handle. I would probably pass on that and definitely look at KM Tactical or Bear Creek Arsenal if you're looking for a, a relatively inexpensive upper for around the same price point that already comes with a bolt carrier group and charging handle then we've got some pmc 223 this stuff is still a real problem to find uh, i would probably want to see it a little cheaper than 50 cents around if you heard that gunshot that is my son he's out here squirrel hunting so and okay now palmetto state armory's logoed bolts it's two it's a tool craft steel carpenter 158 nitride full auto bolt carrier group i love this bolt i've had a couple of these my wife runs one in her rifle i know people probably go, oh, you can get fail zero yeah i have fail zeros too no complaint about those but i do like the palmetto state bolt it's been, I've, this has been a great bolt i'd always look for the one with the logo because a lot of times you're going to see this bolt for around this price without the logo and that kind of sucks I'd, I'd just like having the logo but this is a great deal in fact i'm going to pick a couple of these up myself just because i like to have them as spares and i would recommend that to any of you it's a great great bolt especially around this price point it's i don't know if you can do better for that that's just it's a great bolt now we've got some sig sawyer this is going to be your personal protection rounds these are great now price is not bad either especially for today's times and the craziness that's happening i would tell you guys if you're already buying something from uh, palmetto state throw a few of those in there
Here we go with PSA 16 inch upper. You'll see this one a lot. It's a very popular upper they have. They do run sales on this upper that are better than this throughout the year. So keep an eye on that. I've seen it as low as 249, sometimes 299. So definitely keep a you know watch for that later on in the year if that's something you're looking for. But once again, you can get a an upper that's comparable to this for much less money, and it already has your bolt carrier group charging handles. So I would I would look past that. Now we've got the PSA lower again. Once again, uh, you saw one of my other videos. The standard stock sets running around 125 right now. Definitely spend the extra 25 dollars get the mo. It's uh, you'll like it a lot better, especially if you like Magpul stocks and handguards, which I do. So definitely keep that in mind. Get what you want right off the get go instead of having to buy it twice. It looks like we've got a Springfield Armory Hellcat. I would say that one's decked out with most everything you can get for it. For that price point, it should be. I, I like the Hellcat guys, but I also don't like the price. I think the Hellcat should be a lot cheaper than what, what it is. That's just my opinion. But it's still a great firearm, and... Uh, I said this one's definitely fun to look at. So if you're in the market for a Hellcat and you don't mind spending the $850 on it, that looks like a good one. There's another blend, PSA AK-47. This is their proprietary build that they built. And they're not, not bad AKs, guys. Uh... I can't really comment much on the price on this, and I know I picked up a Riley Defense not too well back uh, around the beginning of the p pandemic, and I paid less than this for it. And at that time, you could buy a lot of AK 47s for a little bit less money than this. This may be a great deal now, guys, but I would probably wait on it myself. All right, the CMMG Bravo, the 22. AR conversion kits. This is a good price that you're going to find this price throughout the year. So whenever they're on sale, this is generally what they're going to go for. I can't recommend recommend these highly enough. If you have an AR-15 at all and you have children or you just like to plink, these are great. They don't hold the, the best accuracy out there, but uh, they're good enough. You can use them. And they sure make make range days fun. They're they're fairly reliable too. I mean, I've got two of these kits. I, I bought them both. One I got from KM Tactical, and I had to buy the mags extra, but I got a pretty good deal on it, so I could afford it. And then I bought one of these from Palmetto State Armory as well. <clears throat> so I've got two, and I like them. I really do, especially when. Um, 223 was near impossible to find. You're paying an arm and two legs and some of your kids for it. This was this was fun. We got to go out and plank a little, and I have thousands of rounds of 22 i I'd like to keep on hand, so it's always fun to, to have that option to go out there and plank a little. So I would highly recommend that. If you guys don't have one, definitely pick one up. And there's the SAR. All right, guys, I picked this up last month. I believe it was, well, actually, I picked it up at the end of September. And it, then I didn't go pick it up for a while because I was out of the country. But this one, this one stings because I paid $329 for, for the SAR when I got it. it I had missed a $299 sale and it went back to the to 329 and I picked it up and I was sad and now I'm looking at it and I could have got it for 249 and got a $30 rebate on top of it so I've paid almost a hundred dollars more for this actually a hundred dollars more for this pistol than it is right now if you guys want to check out the SAR 
I would definitely grab one now because this is the cheapest I've seen them. And from what everybody has told me that I've talked to, it's a great pistol. You're, you're not going to be disappointed. Now, I have mine. I'm going to do an op box opening video on it here. I'll try to get it out today. It may be tomorrow. And it's, uh, I, you know, it's a, it's a larger pistol. I would probably put it in the same category as the Taurus G3 and the uh, Canic, the, the full-size Canic TP9. Or what some people would say, it's not full-size. Well, you know, it's not what I would consider compact because, um, you know, same size as a Glock 19. So that'll give you a comparison on the size. It's a 17 round, nine millimeter. It seems to me like it's a little heavier than, uh, well, definitely than the G3, but it's about the same weight as the Canic. But it's a good looking pistol. I'll, uh, get a video out on it shortly but definitely if you guys want one or you've been looking at it snap it up now because you're going to save a lot of money in fact i may pick up another one of myself just because that's cheap i know i'm toying with getting another one of those or the the dagger i definitely want to get a dagger in and let people take a look at it so we'll see <clears throat> but that's our video for today guys this is what psa's Got on sale for for today. Now, as I was telling you before, they run these sales throughout the, the entire week. In the next week, you can probably get this same deal. So definitely take a look. Check out, go head over to their website, sign up for the daily deals. And uh, if anything comes across there you want, you like the price, go snap it up, guys. So we appreciate everyone watching our videos and we... Hope you guys have a Merry Christmas.